In this lab at Colorado State University, researchers are working on a vaccine against deadly filoviruses like Ebola and Marburg. With every um, attempt at producing a vaccine, um, there'll be successes and there'll be a few failures. And the goal of, of vaccine development, of course, is to have one product that comes out and meets the objective of protecting um, humans. Professor Dennis Piero is the director of this CSU lab called Biomark. Here they're working under contract with the Department of Defense to manufacture an Ebola vaccine for human trials, initially to protect soldiers against a biological attack. But if the vaccine works, it could be used to treat the general population. In this case with the DOD, they have developed uh, a, a couple of lead candidates. And what that means is that the vaccine that was developed by them has passed certain acceptance criteria for antibody generation or protection against the agent, those sorts of characteristics. So there's a preset uh, number of criteria that the vaccines have to meet. Then they decide, yes, we believe this one has potential uh, to have the same effects in humans. Uh, once they, they get to that point, then they'll take the next step and say, let's bring it and, and do some studies in humans. Dr. Piero says the Biomark lab is unique because it's been approved by the FDA as a clean room production facility, rated at biosafety level three. There's no live Ebola here. That requires an even higher biosafety level. Instead, at Biomark, they're using a non-infectious protein that hopefully will spur the body to generate an effective Ebola antibody in upcoming human trials. For the human use, it really has to be developed in a way that's safe, um, effective, um, it can be characterized easily, and, and the potency is, is also identified as well. So that's what the agency, the FDA, is looking for when, when you do human trials, and that's the service we provide.